Hey guys, we'll be doing absolutely amazing today. In this video, I want to talk a little bit about why certain hair care products cause your eyes to burn, to sting, to water. And this was brought up to me in one of the comments in regards to the Eco Styler Gel. So I will discuss that. And I think it's super important to talk about this because as a chemist, I want to share tools and information that's going to help you better choose your hair care products. So in this video, we will be talking a little bit about toxicology. I'm not going to go super deep, you know, we're going to just stay on the surface. It's going to be good. I'm excited. So stay tuned. Okay, so a common experience that we all have probably encountered is when we are cutting it onion and how uncomfortable that can be because you know our eyes start to burn and what's happening is when we are cutting an onion like chemical reactions are actually taking place as we are cutting and a chemical is being released and that chemical is called propanethyl sulfur oxide it's a gas and it actually diffuses into the air into our eyes which causes that burning sensation and then what happens is our eyes start to water because our eyes are trying to flush out the chemical from our eyes okay now this is a natural occurrence uh, chemicals are everywhere you can't avoid them I don't want to see a video or a hashtag of y'all canceling onions y'all because it makes your eyes burn, okay? It's everywhere. So let's go a little bit deeper and talk about Eco Styler Gel. So I looked at both formulas and I say both because they kind of switched up their formulas just a little bit over the past year. Um, and I noticed that there is a preservative in there called sodium hydroxy methylglycinate. And I saw that it is a formaldehyde releasing preservative. So what does that mean? It means that it actually releases a certain amount of formaldehyde in the product to kill off any potential bacteria that might make the product go bad. The amount of formaldehyde that's most likely being released in this product is about 0.11%. So it's small enough to kill the bacteria and be a preservative, but it's not big enough to harm our bodies. Now this is according to the European Commission, um, and they deal with cosmetics, and these guys are super strict. So as cosmetic chemists, even though we are, well, I'm based in the US, I'm gonna go based off the European regulations because they are more geared towards, you know, setting the standard that we as chemists must follow. Now, here's the thing. According to them, they have a certain limit that sodium hydroxide methylglycinate can be used, which is 0.5%. Now, some of you guys might be wondering or saying, well, if there's a limit on this ingredient, we probably should be using it in the first place. But also understand this, everything has a level of toxicity. Everything can be toxic, and I say that because when you, let's say someone put you, God forbid, in a container, okay? and they fill it up with 1% water. It's like what, like at your ankles, you know, you're good. Now imagine that same tank, they fill it up to 100%. Now you're causing harm to your body because you can drown, okay? Everything has the ability to be considered toxic and harmful to your body at a certain level. So despite the fact that it's formaldehyde, Aldehyde itself are known for being like eye irritants. So that's one of the things that stuck out to me as to why I'm guessing or thinking it is the sodium hydroxymethylglycinate. Also, formaldehyde can be in the air, especially if you live like in a very industrial community with like a lot of cars, like car emissions and factories, and even like new homes can contain formaldehyde from it being built. So it's everywhere like it's kind of hard to escape certain chemicals now if you're like okay that's good information i'm glad to know that but i kind of want to stay away from this ingredient that's completely fine i would recommend an alternative which is phenoxyethanol i know eco styler gel uses phenoxyethanol i don't think they switched over completely from phenoxyethanol to sodium hydroxyethylglycinate but that is a good alternative. So, and if you decide to stick with sodium hydroxymethylglycinate, which I probably will because I actually like the gel that I use that has this preservative in it. Um, and if it bothers your eyes, just don't use it too close to your face. I know it can be hard when we're doing this front part, but try to like do it away from the face and that should help, okay? So anyway, I hope you guys have found this video super helpful. Any questions, let me know. My next video, I'm gonna be talking about rice water. I received so many requests on this. I've never done rice water, so I will be sharing my experience as well as just, you know, a chemical perspective of 
how it works, why it works, and all that jazz. So be sure to subscribe, make sure your notifications are on. Also guys, I am coming out with a consultation service. That means I get to work with you one-on-one, -on -one personally, and I'm so excited. What does this mean? This means I'm gonna help you develop your hair care regimen or even enhance your hair care regimen based off of your lifestyle, your hair needs, your products, etc. And then I'm gonna help you discover your hair love language. When I tell you guys I am saving time and money because I know what ingredients work for my hair, it's not even funny. So I look forward to helping you discover what your hair love language is based off of your hair type, based off of your hair needs, your texture, everything. And lastly, any hair challenge that you are currently going through, whether it's dry hair, hair growth, porosity, whatever, I'm gonna help you conquer that challenge because two are better than one. Woo -hoo -hoo. Yes. <laughs> anyway, for more information, you're gonna find a link below um, next to the connect. You can see the little link, sign up, uh, your email address, and then I will reach out to you this week and I look forward to connecting with you. All right, guys, I love you guys. Thank you so much for commenting, liking, subscribing, and I will see you guys soon, all right? Bye.